Hello ladies and gentlemen, Genesis 7 here, or you can just call me Jen, bringing you another Final Fantasy 7 The First Soldier video. Today we're going to be talking about controller tips and tricks. Just so there's a little disclaimer, I do use the PlayStation 5 controller, and as we all may have experienced if we have used controller, it's not fully optimized. It's not at its full potential just yet, so to bear that in mind, because that's where we're at at the time of recording this video. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, like I said in the intro, I am using the PlayStation 5 controller, so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if there's something I've missed or a tip that you may have picked up along the way, please let the community know by also posting there in the comment section below. So, I guess I should start off with ways I usually play. As you've all seen, I have this nice little, just this PS5 controller attachment for a phone that I picked up on Amazon, relatively cheap. It's really easy to play when I'm like chilling out on the sofa or if I'm chilling out in bed or if I'm recording a video, it's very comfortable for me as well. Um, I do also have a tripod that I um, put the phone onto if I want to kind of play still on the mobile screen and play it on a desk or a table or something. And then last but not least, I have a Apple AV adapter, which essentially lets you plug it into a TV and play it on a monitor like you would with a console. So they're the ways I play, so you know where I'm coming from for context. So let's just go straight into the settings here to kind of look at a few things. Um, I have shooting mode on fixed fire, so basically when I fire, because if I have it on auto fire, sometimes when you use your controller it gets confused and you get locked into firing, which can be quite a pain in the butt. So put it on fixed fire. Um, as for camera, you probably just want to ignore all of this if you're using controller. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, the, the, the scope sensitivity with a sniper, I'm like going to be going all over the place if it's that high. Um, what you want to do is go down to controller. Obviously, there's loads of different button prompts and combinations. It really explains it well. Holding down and extended pushes, it's good to bear in mind, especially when it comes to materia. We're going to go into the training um, lobby to kind of have a bit of a mess around here and there. So you can see a few things here. Um, what else have we got? Vehicles, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it explains everything you want. This is the main thing when it comes to sensitivity. I just play it on medium at the moment. That's pretty all right for me. Um, I usually tweak it when I've got my monitor because obviously I'm working with a bigger radius as well. Um, but that I usually have it on medium um, for me. And another thing you want to go into on the, the settings is if you go to controls and then you go to customize, um, you probably noticed in the intro video, I have my own hood. So this is the hood that I usually work with. I've managed to just put all the guns to the side like I would do in like a Call of Duty or any kind of SPS shooter because I don't need any of the touch controls. The only touch controls I usually have on for now are the passenger seat because um, I can never get into a car with the controller. Um, I also have the hand in the bottom uh, right there. Uh, to open chests and um, anything to interact with just in case sometimes uh, the controller likes to play up and I can't pick up stuff um, but again it's not fully optimized yet you got to remember when this game was announced controller support wasn't even in the question um, I know that a lot of uh, Japanese mobile gamers they play touchscreen um, me Westerner over here I, I really can't get on with touch controls whatsoever but I do have a different layout if I do decide to play as touch controls as you can see there it goes straight over to that but when I'm playing controller I've got as minimal and um, touch buttons on the screen as possible because I don't need them um, again when it comes to the controller glitching out it happens few and far between sometimes I just need to quickly reset the Bluetooth and it, we're all good. So layout is a main priority uh, obviously all the buttons I don't use are hidden up here so that's something you want to bear in mind. I think that covers everything when it comes to um, sorting out your layout and stuff. You probably noticed if you were to... Some people have a cursor on the screen. I don't. But if you look here, look, I pressed X and it went into there. You could see where my... If you look here, look, I'm moving with the analog stick and you can see where I'm pushing here. Um, some people have a cursor so they know where that they're going to be clicking. I have no cursor. So um, I'm hoping that that might get fixed, that we have some kind of visual cursor so I can navigate the main menu a bit more. But I just use the touch screen when I'm uh, navigating through the menu. Um, I think that covers everything. Yeah, 
So what we'll do is we'll go into a training lobby, um, practice lobby, and test out a few guns and I'll show you a few tr tips and tricks with the controller to get everything um, as smooth as it can be. Like I say, not fully optimized, things are subject to change at the, uh, the, the, the beginning of this video. But I'm in it as a monk, so obviously triangle is my melee attack. Um, X is jump. Remember, I'm using a PS5 controller, so uh, just go and do your own research to kind of co combine. Uh, double circle is to dodge, obviously. To crouch, single press, hold to crawl, hold to crawl. Come on, come on, character. There we go. Okay, he's not um, not 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 crawling right now, so. Another thing that's just pick up all this material and pick it up by pressing um, square. Also, I've got auto pick up as well, which is nice. Um, so I'm hoping that everyone will stop shooting me because I'm just trying to uh, do a few things here. So obviously, if I want to scale up to things, hold an X. Some of these are relatively known, but I will be going to a few things. When it comes to material, hold an L1. Uh, your first materia is going to be R1 while I have an L1. Second one is going to be um, R2. And then your third one is going to be L2. Now, if you want to cancel your magic, so I'm using bio here, but I don't want to use it. Just use any other but any other shoulder button. So, for example, I was going to use bio, but I'm canceling it just by holding. Boom, L2. I just pressed L2. Works with any other button that I'm not uh, using. R1, using your special attack. Um, Time for action. Trying to think what else there is. I need to probably pick up some guns to showcase some gun gameplay. I'm trying to get into a, a comfortable position here. Um, but yeah, they're all they're all the basics. Obviously, running around. If you want to auto run, click in the analog stick, and you can just use your um, viewing stick to do this. Also, you can, if you're holding the right analog stick, you have, if you're playing team games, while you're aiming, you can aim by, down your scope, hold it, and do that. Uh, Minimap, just press the share button, and then you can use L1, uh, L2 and R2 to zoom in and out, and then just I just touch the screen to mark um, potential locations if I'm playing a team game. Uh, start obviously goes to see what your loadout is. If you want to go into your settings, hold start just a little bit longer, or option should I say. I'm still like PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 days here. Um, obviously, uh, circles just to cancel out of everything. So let's grab some guns and do some gunplay here. Obviously, up is your potions. Holding up, you can select what potion you want. You can see that there. Um, Just, just grab some, grab some guns here. Look, so we'll, we'll, we'll just grab. We've got some a sniper rifle. Um, obviously aiming is as you would with any FPS shooter. So, aim, fire. Obviously showcasing my not so great skills at the moment. Also, if you're having a scope, and I know a lot of people have issues, is when. Especially if you're playing controller, is as you upload your uh, upload, upgrade your guns, um, you will be really zoomed in with the max guns, especially your epic and legendary. The controller on the D-pad while you're aiming, down zooms out, up zooms in, which is really really useful um, in those situations. It works for all gun types that may have a zoomed in scope. So if I want to zoom out, get a bit of better accuracy there. Uh, zoom in, try and get a headshot on this dude over here. Boom, there he goes. See you later, alligator. And another one there, just missed. Of course I missed. And another one, boom, there he goes. So that's nice and useful. Obviously, left is to switch your weapons. Hold left and you'll go back to your melee stance. Um, if needs be. Can we lie down now that we've got a gun? Yes. Holding circle means we can crouch. So if you want to be one of those snipers that just want to snipe. Boom, there you go, you can do that. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I, I knew making this video, I should have made some kind of like bullet points um, to kind of, you know, know what I'm talking about because I knew that I'd missed something. So let's just pick up some other guns. Um, 
If there are things you want to swap and swap between, square is your best friend. So let's say if I want to pick up gravity, I have the option to go up and down and change out a few things here and there. Um, so I've got an LMG here. Not got any zoomed in scope, so you don't need to worry about anything there. Uh, holding down is your emotes if you want to do some emoting. So let's get rid of out of the way here and we can do some some emoting if we want to. Um, again, square is your best friend when it comes to interacting with things here and there. Across the way. Coming into the train cent center, I guess you're very familiar with all the weapons, potions, ammo types and everything. So you know what you want to go for. What gun you feel more, more comfortable with. When pressing up uses your potion, just a single press. Let's call our chocobo. Um, chocobo control is very simple. Uh, X is jump, hold X to kind of glide. Um, chocobo kick is great with the triangle button, especially beating enemies. I'll be having a video on that very soon. Um, let's just kick this guy up. Boom, one hit. The chocobo kick, if you've got high attack, is very powerful. It's just very hard to kind of pull off sometimes, as you can see. Um, especially on moving targets. These still cut targets. V very, I said that and I missed, but very easy to hit. Um, what else can we do with the chocobo? Um, you can still select your potions and stuff. Uh, to get off, just want to press square. I wonder if, is there any vehicles in the training center? Does anyone know? Let's see if we can find them. All right, hold on. Let's get back on the chocobo. See if there's any vehicles anywhere. Vehicles, it's the same um, kind of way as you would with a chocobo. Let's have a look. Don't think there is any vehicles in the training center. But yep, yep, I think with trucks you have the additional ability to put on your radio with your selected music track that you can choose from the main menu. Um, apart from that, guys, that's pretty much it. I think the main tips and tricks is uh, zooming in and out with scopes is always useful. Um, I'm, I would like to try and discover more tactics with team play because when it comes to team play, I'm not usually the guy that directs all the orders. I usually follow them because of the lack and thereof. So, for example, if I'm in a team and I want them to attack this guy, I'd have to hold in the analog stick and then uh, we want to pick the enemy, click it in, just absolutely smash my microphone in there. But as you can see there, look, it still hasn't kind of aimed. I think you need to probably aim nearer to the floor um, to where you want to go. So let's say, someone just take my chocobo. How dare you? So that enemy over there, enemy spotted, it's near enough where it needs to be. Um, destination, let's go over there. I would like easier controls. Um, there we go, look, I'm just taking a ride here on a chocobo, which is nice. It's nice to have friendly community people that just don't want to shoot at you in the, in the training lobby. Um, so yeah, controls in a nutshell, really. There's a few other button prompts here and there, um, but I've gone over everything that I am aware of. So if there's anything you want to add to the video, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be sure to pin it or reply to it and let it be known to the rest of the people in the community. But I just kind of want to go over controls. I use controller all the time. You're not going to see me using touch controls unless I lose every single one of my controllers. I know that at the moment the most op optimized controller for the first soldier is the PlayStation 4 controller. But I've had no problems with the PlayStation 5 controller. It's just had a bit of haptic feedback and some uh, adaptive triggers. And then we're, then we're sold, really, with the PlayStation 5 controller on this game. But there we go, guys. In a nutshell, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to get some enemies here. I'm just trying to get some target practice in. But in a nutshell, there you go. Is some controller tips and tricks. So be sure to hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate your time, and hopefully I'll see you guys here on the battlefield on Final Fantasy VII: The First Soldier. Remember, I am an official ambassador, so you can expect content coming your way as soon as I get it. And don't forget to check out other of my fellow ambassadors as well. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side.